hi welcome back to my channel um so today actually this topic might be for so many people because it is all about pdf files so one way or the other i'm sure i want to be very sure that uh, you would have come across pdf files so there's no need to talk about what pdf files really is because uh, as a student you must have been instructed to send your assignment or reports in a pdf file uh you might have you know try as an entrepreneur to you know convert your files to pdf or one way or the other on the internet you must have been required to send your documents as a pdf so this tutorial is going to teach us or explain to us rather how to convert our documents to pdf how to view PDF files and most importantly why this one is really needed is how to join different files together, different PDF files to you know together to make a file and all this will be done on your system. You don't need internet access because many of these things are talking about of course you can go online there and upload your document and then download it back to you know convert it to PDF. But today we are going to give ourselves some free software that you can download very small files that can help you do all these things without the use of internet because um, we may not have access to internet all the time and you really want to have your system capable of doing these things for you at any time uh, so let's go guys in the next uh, very few minutes we will explain to ourselves how to do all of these things uh, so i'm heading to my virtual pc now on windows 7 be aware that uh, this process is also can also work on virtually all versions of Windows. That is Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows XP, if anybody is still using that. Uh, so for Windows 7, like I said, it's the same process. So what are the files I really needed? I just three of them. I have a, a do PDF that is like a printer that you install. It's a virtual printer. You install it on your system. And then whenever you want to print any document at all, even pictures, anything, all you have to do is just choose that uh, do PDF as a printer, then you to convert it and save the document on the location that you specify for it. And also we have the PDF binder here that is used to you know join different PDF files together to make one. We will see how to do that as well. And then lastly, we have in fact this should be the first one actually. We have the Sumatra PDF. It's a PDF reader. There's so many versions of this online, but I find this one to be very, very effective because number one, it is very small. It's a very small file compared to um, Adobe Reader, for instance. And more importantly, I find it useful when I'm reading PDF files that contains lots of pages and I have to stop and then want to come back to continue where I stop. This is very useful for me. Although uh, other versions of PDF reader may have that, but I find this one very simple to download and install and use. So let's go, guys. Uh, so the link to download all of these things you find in the description under this uh, video, but we'll be showing it to ourselves also on the web browser here. So the first one is the uh, PDF binder. You just need to go to this uh, website. Of course, it's in the link down in the description there. Code.google.com forward slash blah blah to download. Then we can download the latest version for the PDF binder. Again, the PDF binder is used to you know join PDF files together. If you have different pages, different places, and you need to make them one, do you understand? We'll see how that works. So that is for PDF binder, and then we have the Sumatra PDF. Yeah, this is the link here. Sumatra PDF reader.org download blah. Then you can select the one appropriate for your system. Your system could be running 32 or 64 bits. If you don't know how to check your bit or version of Windows, just go to your system and on this PC or if you're using Windows Server, we see that on this PC you can go to the properties of your system then you can read the uh, version of your system type it for this one i'm using 64 bit operating system if i'm using windows 7 almost the same process on windows 7 click on my computer or computer 
and then right click on it to go to the properties and you will see the uh, version of windows that you are seeing also this one is also 64 bits for so one way or the other you may be running 32 bit operating system uh, on your system so that's why you need to choose the appropriate installer for your system click and download i have already downloaded all this so there's no need to download again again we have the pdf binder here you can select the latest version and download it to your system sumatra pdf and lastly we have the um do pdf that's the virtual printer that you need to install on your system to create you know pdf files uh, there are very many versions of this one but i find this website very useful where i need to download old versions of softwares because one way or the other you may be very familiar with an old software that is easy for you to use so if you need the old versions of some of those softwares you can find them on oldversions.com because the do pdf has the latest version which i don't really like there are so many integrations that you know are unnecessary to me so i find the version 7 7.0 actually i find it very straightforward and there's no drama I just install and start using it it doesn't download anything it's just simple installation and the file is very small 4.29 mb yeah so scroll down a little bit but the the link we also find it in the description of the old version.com windows to pdf server so scroll down a little bit and download those are the only three files that we need to uh, you know get in order to make this you know uh training work for us so guys let's go ahead and start installation of those materials that we downloaded so the very first one should be the sumatra pdf like i said it is used to view pdf files and it's very useful so right click on it and install or you double click so install it again it's the same process for all the windows i'm here and i can install the sumatra pdf as you can see it's very fast that is all about sumatra pdf the installation is done the uh, link is here i can open documents if i want i think i have a document on the system yeah i have these two documents there you go guys you started using it and then you, there's some settings here you can increase or decrease you have uh, tools for you to enlarge and disenlarge uh, what i'm saying about it remembering the last uh page that you are in remember this is page 7 of 16 so if i close down the application and i try to open back can you see it's even saying uh showing the listing the documents i have opened so if i click to open this one again it will go back to the last page that i was reading so that is why i find this software very 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 useful for me so it continues where you stop it's a settings you don't need to do anything it's there for yourself if you don't want it then you can go to settings and change that if you want to start all over again anytime you open your documents for one reason or the other i don't know why uh you may need to do that so that is that about the pdf reader as you can see it's very small very light and installed very easily and there's no problem using it so the next one is the um i think we should install the do pdf that is the virtual printer you will see it on your system as a printer so that you can choose it whenever you want to print so it's a very simple installation process accept the agreement and most of the time just click next next check and next so here we can maybe want to check this box to set this printer as a default printer so that anytime you want to print you don't need to start looking for it from the list of your printers if you have checked it here to be your default printer so that if you want to print it is already selected for you as a you know first choice printer so we use this one to create pdf files we'll see how to do that in a very short moment so the last one here is the pdf binder i said we use it to join different uh documents pdf documents together to make it uh, to make them one so we we'll go through the process of using 
And the last two software, we've already seen the Sumatra. We use that to view PDF, obviously. Then uh, we'll also try to work on the two other softwares. So that is all, guys. If you go to your system and try to look for printers, devices and printers, for instance, you see do PDF here listed as a printer. So although it's not a physical printer, but it's there to convert your documents to PDF. So now we're going to look for a document to convert into PDF documents. So I have this uh, Office Open Query. I mean Open Office documents. It's like a Word document. So we try to convert this one into PDF. As you can see, right now is a Word pad document is not pdf file so we'll convert this one now to pdf using our two pdf uh, virtual printer so just like you normally print any document just scroll down to it and as you can see because i set it as my default printer it has been selected as a default printer you can also make preferences to it like change this one to a4 or anything just like you do on normal printers so i'm done with that then i can go ahead and print next is going to ask for the destination where you want to save the file because it's not going to print it out as a document it's going to save it as a file on your system so you can browse to the location where you want i'll select desktop and i'll select uh, testing pdf it's on the desktop here i'll just save and click on ok so that is it guys you have converted this document into a pdf file so if you try to open it now if you try to open it i can select from list of programs so that is it i've converted this document into pdf it's as simple as that I close that up so I mean you can any document at all any document even if you have pictures on your system that you want to print just assume you want to print it and just select PDF do PDF as your printer and then print to convert it to PDF for you and you don't need the internet to do that uh, photo PDF convert it to PDF as you can see it's opened with uh, our PDF reader right here so you can convert basically anything any document as far as the system can open it and you can select to print from that uh, from the file menu so it's as simple as that guys it's as simple as that so the next thing we're going to do now, which is the last, um, which is the last and a little bit uh, difficult or uh, technical as I can put it, is how to join different PDF files together and make them one. So you have different PDF files and you want to join them together to become one for one reason or the other. Say for instance, I have this uh, PDF that I need this page and then I have another PDF that I need another page for him, from them to join them together. Okay, let's use the example that we just did. We just created this photo PDF. And for one reason or the other, we need to join it together with with the with this page that we created earlier. So these are two different PDF files and we need to join them together. So using this little very light application on your assistant, the PDF binder, you can join those files together without any stress and without the use of internet so I'm looking for the PDF binder is right here I'll open it it's a very small file all you have to do is just add those files that you need to join together for instance I want to join this uh, testing PDF with the photo that we did together and you can arrange them you can put whichever one you want on top and the next so it's going to bind them together and join them as a single single file i'll say joint 
PDF. And as you can see here, we're having two pages of a PDF file. Let me close this one so that it doesn't get confused. This is the recent file that we joined together. You can see we have the letter that we created earlier and then the picture down here. If this is confusing, let's use another files mm -hmm. to see exactly, to understand what we're talking about. I'll delete all this file so we don't get confused. So let's work on this different documents. So let's get rid of all these ones. So we have these two documents. This is 10 pages of a of a document right here. And then we have another document, moving averages guide, like this. And another this is just this is 16 pages. So Guys, we need to join these two PDF files together. It doesn't matter how many pages they are. It could be one page, it could be 200 pages. It's the same process for both, for everything. So just go to your PDF binder. If you have existing files there, you may want to delete them using that button there. And then to add files, just click on add files. Go to the location where you have your files. Click on them. That is one. Or you can drag to the you can drag to the location I already have the 4.2 here then I can drag this moving average into this place that is all then after that I will bind the two files together I can give it a name and a location I can say bind it for it if I click on save to even open it automatically the first one was 16 pages and i think the next so it has joined the two files together for me as you can see here as you can see here so we now have 26 pages all together even more you can select pages that you needed for instance say i'm going to delete this one too again and you can work with if you look at these files now, let's say I needed just page two of this. This is page one. Here yeah, I don't need this page one. Let's say for instance I needed page two here. It starts as moving average formula, blah blah blah. I just need only this page two of this file. Do you understand? And then another file, which is let's assume this file i needed just this page two of this one what i can do in this scenario is to print those pages out of this page and then join those two pages together let me show you what i'm talking about so on this page now i just presume to print then i can select the page i want which is page two here i select my printer i print it it's just one page out of these 10 pages so i'll give it a name i can say page two I can say first page I'm going to save it on the desktop first page yeah this is the first page I don't know why it slants I think we should do that again that's a correct. Remember, you can do settings on the PDF printer just like any other printer. So, we do this again. We'll try to print the page two. I think my system is having error. Okay, so let's try to print that we can, you know, before. So let's go to page two. And you can print it. I'm selecting desktop. I say first page. 
a series and a desktop. For one reason or the other, this is changing to landscape. Maybe it's even better for us to see that we can actually join pages together. So let's print this page two. It's page three from this file. So uh, we print. We select the page three of that file, and then we print. We change the name here to second page. No opening it. So there guys we have the two pages ready for us to join together. So on our system we can open the PDF binder. These are the first page. Again, this is just one page. And then the second page is right here. Remember we took these pages from different files. From different PDF files so now we're going to join these pages together to make just one file okay so on our PDF binder software we can remove the ones we we're doing before then just drag and drop the file that you need to add or you click on this add file and locate the files put the second file you can arrange them by moving them up or down however you want to arrange them so these are the two files now then you just click on bind select the location where you want to join them to new joint any name that you want and then click on save it will open as soon as it's done for you so this is the first page you remember it was slant and that's the second page right there guys so this is as good as as that and very simple it may look tedious but one or two days of using this thing i'm sure you master this you may find this uh process very very useful if you are working on pdf files all the time so you need to join system i mean files together for one reason or the other so guys we have taught ourselves how to install a pdf printer it's just a virtual printer system and we have the uh, very light PDF reader that can, you know, continue where you stop reading. And then we have the PDF find binder on our system. So, guys, if you think this is useful for you, give it a thum thumbs up and share on your uh, social media so that uh, anybody else who may be in need of this information could actually, you know, get to see it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified when new videos educational videos get dropped for you so do have a lovely day thank you